hi everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about uh, Dior's poison girl perfume review like there is a story behind this review I'm a huge 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 perfume lover and I do follow uh, perfume reviewers on YouTube and uh, Jeremy fragrance is one of them and he like talks so much uh, about poison girl which made me to go and try it i was so curious about this uh, fragrance like he talked so much about it and uh, i did test it out like for the whole day like i went for shopping and just went into uh here in oman in a reach and just i sprayed it so uh my thoughts uh, on this fragrance are like quite different from like jeremy's to me this fragrance was like very generic there was nothing like special going on uh, like in this fragrance and all and i did test it out a uh, hypnotic poison like on a one wrist and poison girl on the other and surprisingly i felt like hypnotic poison like uh, was better for me because i am into like more like thick uh, long lasting perfumes it is gourmand fragrance and uh, uh, it is quite like people pleaser and uh, anyone who is going to smell this fragrance on you will definitely will like it to me it was like nothing much nothing special nothing surprising it was like very generic and uh, very soon I am planning to do a whole review on the whole poison range the notes of this fragrance like doesn't really uh, matches uh, the way it smells like in the top note it has a bitter orange and you when you just spray it you will like for a very uh, for a very uh, short time you will just smell it and it will like vanish away at once it has middle notes of damask rose and bay rose and uh, surprisingly i did not uh, smell like any roses or anything like that way in this fragrance base the base notes of this fragrance are tonka bean vanilla sandalwood and tolu like it's sort of a balm but i really don't know much about it as you spray this fragrance this fragrance at once uh, changes into its like uh, the original form which is like the dry down when i sprayed this fragrance for the very first time within a minute it changed and uh, transformed uh, into the fragrance which like it is going to be it's a nutty gourmand and very vanilla fragrance and uh, yes it is like it will please most of the crowd around you it's a people uh, pleaser fragrance but if you are expecting like too much from it I don't think uh, you are gonna get from this one I did try hypnotic poison on one wrist and poison girl on the other and I felt uh, hypnotic poison has like uh, it was like so many things were going on in this fragrance and this uh, fragrance was like a, a more simpler version of that it caters i think a uh, young younger crowd it's uh, like for younger ladies teenagers it will be a perfect choice but i don't categorize like fragrances like according to age it's up to you if you want to wear it just wear it and rock it the presentation of this fragrance is really 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 pretty as it's dior so you cannot go wrong with it uh, and it can be a very good gift if you are planning to give uh, your girlfriend your wife your sister or your mother even uh, depending on the likings and the age the bottle is really pretty i will insert a clip of the bottle as well as the packaging and the bottle is their signature poison uh, bottle fragrances do perform differently on different body chemistries so it might uh, be an average fragrance on my body but it might work like excellently on others so on my body it lasted for like uh, six hours five plus hours five to six hours 
for the very uh, for the very first two hours it was like projecting nicely like the projection was there uh, silly edge and everything was there after three to four hours it was becoming like uh, like uh, the projection was becoming less and less and uh, the last four to six hours it has become a skin scent on my body i really don't know how this fragrance uh, work on you guys if you own it but uh, that was the case on me i do have i dry skin i think that's the case i really don't know about it but uh, i am just sharing my experience with you guys but hypnotic poison uh, was like a better performing one if i compare these two so that was my quick review i just wanted to keep it simple and uh, just share my thoughts on this fragrance because i did try it out and uh, because of jeremy i really wanted to go and have a sniff how this fragrance what is like the amazing thing in it and i did not find it like a very what do you call uh surprising or amazing or like you know something special it was like really generic to me it is just a nutty gourmand vanilla fragrance so yeah that completes my quick review on poison girl on this channel i do different perfume reviews so if you want to stay tuned to all my content make sure to subscribe to my channel till my next video take very good care of yourselves bye